Hey guys, it's your girl Carmese. Welcome back to my channel. So your girl just accepted a $32 order at Costco, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, you guys, I'm about to head over to Costco. I am literally five minutes away from there. So this is a good, easy order. And it's $30, y'all. Like they gave me like a like a whole $20 tip. Ain't that crazy? A whole $20 tip. So I'm about to head over there right now and yeah, see so you guys from the Alright you guys, this is what I have so far. I just need two more items. I'm looking for the two fruits, but I can't find them anywhere. Like. I don't know what to look for the fruits, y'all. I'm looking oh it's right here. Okay. Red papaya. I found it, y'all. The red papaya. They want one of these. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost done, y'all. Alright, she has. I grabbed everything besides the tomatoes. I couldn't find the brand that she wanted, so I refunded her and I also gave her suggestions of, re of possible replacements and. Yeah, I'm just waiting on her response, but I did refund the item. She don't respond in time. I'm just going to check out because I'm over the time right now. I'm like three minutes over the time that's supposed to be in here. And I haven't even checked out the item. And the lines are hella long, as you guys can see. So, yeah. Alright, you guys. I'm about to head over to my customer's house. They are 17 minutes away. This is going for seven miles, y'all. And... They are basically 17 minutes away, which isn't too bad, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in Costco, so by the time I leave Costco, it'll be 15 minutes away. And that's not bad for me. 15 minutes isn't bad. Now, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, that's bad. So I'm about to head over there right now. Alright you guys, I just made it. This house is weird, probably. The way it's like, the way it's located is weird. Like I would never live here. <laughs> Especially like on the end, like it's weird. Like they don't have a park, they don't even have a parking lot. They don't even have a parking lot. Like it's like just one car parked here. But anyways, you guys, I'm about to put the groceries on the steps and I'll be right back. you guys i just have two more items in the car that i need to place over there and then i am done you guys so i just accepted another instacart order going for 32 dollars 29 at costco yet again um they only want five items 11 units y'all this is going to be a little tough because it is a lot of um, cases of water i did one at um shop where they only wanted eight cases of water and it was the heaviest thing ever so they want four Poland spring cases of water and then they want to 40 packs so that's gonna that's going to be so fucking heavy y'all whoo i just hope i could i hope i could just make it out of costco that's all like i just want to be able to make it out of costco good but i'm gonna get that and then they want two gallons of milk another five pounds like and then they want two pays and batteries so i think i'm gonna do the the light things first so i could just get that out of the way i'm just going to get the batteries the toothpaste and the milk and then i'm going to get the water and then head for the checkout and i'll be done so i'll see you guys once i get to costco these are good orders you guys 30 dollars orders y'all got 
found the first item. You guys, I need two more cases of water from a different brand, and I'll be on my way. Just right there. And I'll be on my way, guys. Y'all, I am sweating. Please don't mind me right now. I'm sweating so much. All that water, y'all. This is a whole workout. You don't have to worry about sitting at a desk all day and being inactive. Like you do Instacart, you're active, honey. You are active. I'm over here just sweating. But anyways, you guys, I am 10 minutes away from my customer. I'm about to head over there. This is a contactless delivery. So I'm guessing, I'm more, more than likely, I will have to put everything by the garage door. But if it's by the front door, hopefully it isn't hard for me to put them waters up there. But All right, you guys, I just made it to my customer's house. They said that they, they just messaged me and they said that they want it on their front porch right there. So I'm about to put it right there and yeah. Eight water bottles right there. And it's a bad, good thing I sound like a far distance, so I won't be struggling too much, y'all. But wish me luck. See y'all. Last thing, you guys. I got everything up there. This is the last thing. The last item. you guys so i just got a doordash order going for nine dollars and 75 cents at wendy's going for 4.2 miles you already know i snatched that nine dollars y'all that sounds really good to my ears because i've been seeing nine dollars that often you know what i'm saying so i'm right here at wendy's i'm two minutes away from there i'm about to go in there and place my order and yeah hopefully there's no long line um inside because i know drive through lines be crazy long so usually when the drive through lines are long, there's usually nobody inside, so hopefully I can get this order in and out. And yeah, they got eight items. They got Coca-Cola, french fries, two crispy chicken nuggets, three junior hamburgers, and one Barks root beer. all right you guys i am heading over to my customer's house they are 10 minutes away and i'm going to be there six minutes early this is a handed to me delivery and i've been to this customer like four times before so i'm very familiar with them they're you know usually you know her daughter usually his daughter comes out and get the food from me so every time i pull up they're right there she's right there so so anyways you guys once i get there i'll be right back i am about to head over to my my customer he's literally riding right there so i'm gonna give him his food Alright you guys, I handed him his food. Yo, I promise you, he tracks me on the GPS. He has to, because every single time I come to this man's house, either him or his daughter is like, they walk right outside, like they was waiting. Which is nothing wrong with that, because I do the same thing. Like when I used to order DoorDash, especially during quarantine, I did it a lot more. And when I was away at school, I did it a lot. But, but, um, I used to track the GPS as well. Alright you guys, so I just accepted an Instacart order going for $17. They want 9 items, 16 units. These are easy things I can find. It's not a lot of items y'all. It's at Stop and Shop, so I'm about to head over there right now. I'm like 5 minutes away from Stop and Shop, so I should be there very shortly. And yeah, I'll see you guys once I get there. Y'all, I went to the wrong location, the wrong Stop and Shop. 
but I was still able to um, click to shop here anyways. Like there's a button that says shop here anyways. And I clicked that, so hopefully they got everything she wants. If not, then she's gonna be pissed because I went to the wrong shop. I went to the wrong stocking shop. <laughs> I went to the one closer to me. But I didn't look at the address correctly. I didn't look at the address correctly, so hopefully I can find everything else. Alright you guys, so I got everything. I didn't buy that much, but I did get everything. Alright you guys, so my customer wants their groceries ASAP. So I'm about to head over there right now. I was, you know, past my time and didn't really feel like it, but I got everything and I'm 12 minutes away. I'm about to head over there and yeah, I'll see you guys once I get there. Alright you guys, I just went to my customer's house. They're freaking standing outside, so I'm about to head over there. Um and yeah. Is this a contactless delivery? Yeah, this was contactless. But anyways. All right, you guys, I placed all the items. I'm about to look for another order. And yeah, I'm probably gonna get gas again because y'all learned my lesson the last time. Like my shit get all the way down to E. I was getting, I was like having a whole panic attack because I didn't know if my car, I didn't know if my car was gonna randomly stop in the middle of the highway. But anyways, you guys, I'm about to look for another order, and yeah, see you guys. Oh my time. God, I love you guys so much. Like, never stop talking about make you laugh. Y'all the best, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, you guys, your girl just accepted a twelve dollar order for three point four miles. They only want three items, eight, three items, five units. So I'm about to head over to CVS right now. I am five minutes away from there. Alright you guys, so I got everything. I'm about to head to the checkout line right now. And yeah, you're all done. Alright you guys, I have my CVS bag right here. They're only seven minutes away, so they're not far at all, you guys. I'm about to head over there right now. And yeah, it's currently 5-12. And I'll see you guys once I get there. Alright you guys, I just right at my customer's house. I'm freaking standing out the door, but I'm about to grab my items and yeah oh, all right you guys i place it by the thing yo i hate when they freaking come out it's like y'all say it's contactless then it's contactless like come on car anyways you guys <laughs> She said, like, you can place it right there. I'm like, okay. <clears throat> Anyways, you guys, I'm about to look for my next order. Once I get this, you already know, boop, I'll be right back. There's this $8 order going for two point something miles. I decided to grab it anyways at CVS. Only because I'm already here at CVS. Like, like I saw the order as I was coming back from the from the customer's house. I saw the $8.49 $8 order. And they only want three items, so I was like, whatever, I'm just going to grab it real quick, you know what I'm saying? Go in there real quick and grab it, and then I'm going to head over to my customer's house, only 2.3 miles away. And yeah, I'm already here at CVS, back at the same location, like I just left. Alright, you guys, found the first item. Next, we good. Alright, you guys, I just need the toilet paper, but... 
I can't find the brand that they want. This is all I see here. I don't see the brand that they want. All right, you guys. So I just picked up my items. So it's pretty easy for me to find it. I'm about to head over to my customer house. But first, I need to take a picture of my receipt. Okay. Scan the barcode. Okay. Start delivery. Leave in the front of my door. Thank you. Bad. I've been here before. Oh my gosh. Anyways, you guys, I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, you guys, I just made it to my destination. I am about to. I am about to place the items at the door and yeah. Contact with Luke. I just placed the items on the floor. I'm about to look for another order. You already know. But yeah, once I get another order, you guys, I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I just got a DoorDash order at Nochi de Colombia. It's going for $10.50 at 2.7 miles. I'm already here in the parking lot. I'm 13 minutes early, you guys. But I'm already here and I'm going to wait a few minutes because I already know my order isn't ready. They already know. This restaurant is never on time. Every time I go in there, it's never ready. So I'm going to wait a little, a few minutes and I'm going to head in there. And yeah, I'll see you guys once I go inside. Remember, I don't care. This is another restaurant that I will not go back to unless it's the morning time and there's not as much people because I've never really dashed around this time before. I always dash from the morning time to like three o'clock or four o'clock. Never this, never this late, but I'm definitely noticing it's more packed in the restaurant. It's way more packed. Um, I came here and there's no parking and that never happens. You know what I'm saying? That never happens. So I'm getting used to it, but I don't know about coming here because I they literally made me wait on the fucking line. People are ordering on this line. People are picking up on this line. Like it's one line. Like, are you kidding me? They should have a pickup line. They should have a, a organ line, right? They don't. Let's combine together. So, so anyways, you guys. <sighs> anyways, you guys. I'm about to head over to my customer's house. Fuck you. I'm about to head over to my customer's house. I am 10 minutes away. And yeah. All right, you guys. So I just got an order going for eight dollars and fifty cents at 1.5 miles at McDonald's. I'm already here in the parking lot. They want seven items. They want two cheeseburgers, one caramel frappe, three French fries, and one 20-piece chicken nugget. So I'm about to head over there and go inside and see if it's ready. Even even though I just accepted it like two seconds ago, the pickup time is already so quick. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to wait that long, which is good. So I'm about to head inside, park, head inside, and pick up my order, you guys. It feels so weird dashing at nighttime. It's not really nighttime because it isn't dark. It isn't. It isn't dark yet, but it still feels weird because there's because the restaurants are packed now. I'll be right back. you guys i have my order is ready i'm about to head over to my customer's house all right you guys i have my doordash bag this is way too big to fit in the thing my customer is eight minutes away from me so i'm about to head over there right now and this is a hand it to me delivery so i'm gonna hand it to them and yeah you guys 
all right you guys who child i've been working since 11 11 20 so it's currently 7 45 i didn't have a few breaks i did stop by the crib you know to get more water pee all that i did have a few breaks but overall you're gonna be working all day and this is the first time i've done this and i will be doing this you know once september hits you know once yeah. september hits i'm really gonna be working every single day like hours you know what i'm saying putting them hours because your girl got a business to start your girl got some investments to make and all that so i'm doing whatever i can to make bread you guys I'm, i also want to sell some stuff on the side i don't know what yet i don't know what i want to sell but stuff on the side just to just to save that money invested into my business on today on instacart friday august 21st i did five batches one for $28.21, one for $32.29, one for $17.30, one for $12.26, and one for $8.21. And the customers can, you know, the customers can change the tip if they want to. They have three days to change it, so they can wipe the whole thing off if they want to. They can add more money if they want to. They can take off money if they want to. And I did talk about it in my mukbang, so if you guys did not watch it, if you guys are not watching, make sure you guys watch that mukbang. I talk about my worst Instacart. I talk about I talk about my worst Instacart experience ever. And yeah, you guys. So today I made ninety eight dollars and twenty seven cents on Instacart, which is really good. Ninety eight dollars, you guys. Like what? On DoorDash, I did three deliveries. I did one for ten dollars. I did one for ten dollars and twenty five cents. My active time was twenty five minutes, and my dash time was an hour. And I did another two deliveries for nineteen dollars. So those were separated because my I had to end my dash because I think I was doing an Instacart order or something like that. But anyways, you guys, so that was for eight dollars. One one was for eight dollars and fifty cents, the one I just did, and then the other one for ten dollars and fifty cents. So that's nineteen dollars. So today on today on DoorDash, I made twenty nine dollars. $29 and $29 and 25 cents so in total today in total today I made a hundred and twenty seven dollars and fifty two cents y'all if I could keep going I could keep going but I'm waiting on my plug right now <laughs> but you guys I made a hundred and twenty seven dollars this is the most I've ever made in a day in one day like the the most to the close to I got was one a week 108 you know what i'm saying and that was when i first started doordash so for me to get 127 today y'all i was really working so i feel like if i could make a hundred dollars a day what never made so much money in my life like it's crazy and it's like i'm almost scared to like i'm almost scared because like i don't know what to do with it but at the same time i know like i just don't want to spend my money that's not that's like the last thing i want to do is just spend my money i want to invest it i know i want to have a business my own business i need to save my money to put that towards my business so yeah and just to save in general like i need to save so i can eventually move the fuck out and yeah and live my life but Anyways, you guys, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you every single time your girl put her videos. If you guys are enjoying these DoorDash slash Instacart vlogs, make sure you guys share the video. Make sure you guys like the video, comments, all that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.